So, uh, I'm gonna go through some pros and cons with uh, different formats again. Your, uh, your format dude. Uh, I think that uh, uh, some pros and cons about vinyl records are these. They, a pro is that it has uh, almost unlimited range. It has a very, uh, if you have a good pickup and good speakers, it's a really good format to play music on. Um, I think uh, a, f a format that uh, is as good as vinyl, yet it has a little more precise, colder sound. So if you like this type of vinyl distortion, you might like that more, even if it's not sound quality wise better in numbers. Uh, and that's of course the 2496 FLAC file or 192. <sighs> Black file or SACD uh, or Blu-ray audio or DVD audio of course so all those formats are superior uh, to mp3s CDs um, I'm just gonna finish with vinyl here I think uh, the, the most gnarly uh, con about um, gnarly youth lingo here, uh, I'm 37 so I'm gonna stop with that. The most annoying thing about vinyl is when there's a, um, some, some uh, when you have a, uh, it gets in the groove and you um, have this specific place on the record where it just has this noise like this bump in the, like a like a rock in the groove and it's often just part of the song but it goes for like a minute or so just repeating that sound <laughs> i've had that on celebrity skin vinyl i had it on my new björk vinyl and it fucking sucks of course <laughs> but it also makes uh, them a little more human than uh, the the flag files i guess but uh in, in that sense, there's a, that's a pro, uh, con with vinyl. Another thing is they, that they can have a lot of static, so you have to use equipment to get rid of the static. The vinyl player can be noisy, so you have to change the electricity, but this also goes, of course, for other devices. So, But it's uh, more apparent on a vinyl player, I think. So you do all this stuff, you have uh, these uh, different types of expensive needles and you get all this uh, great sound out of the vinyl or not if you have a bad uh, player and system. So it's really, it, the pressing matters, the, everything matters considering your system. Some things matter more or less. But for instance, I have a, a dynamic position uh, amp that works really well with my speakers and I don't have an expensive preamp, I just bought a little bear to be able to use the expensive amp. So that might be something that I can improve, but I also have a decent Cambridge preamp for vinyl, so I think it sounds really good with my vinyl records. And I also have a really good duck on my SACD player and I have one in my Mac as well. So I think all these formats are good. I think the only formats that, that uh, is worth frowning upon sound-wise is uh, formats like 320 MP3, less than that MP3s. Because I think there is a difference between 320 MP3s and CDs and vinyl and FLAC files. Uh, why wouldn't there be, you know? There's, there's all this talk about that you can't hear difference, but it has to do a lot with what kind of speakers you have as well. You can hear difference with the right gear. So you have to have good gear. It's the same with this Pono player here. If you play black files on this and you use your usual iPhone headphones, you're not going to spot much of a difference from using your black file on your phone. But if you have great headphones, you're going to hear the difference. So, um, something I'm, <coughs> I've noticed as being a pro 
uh, that makes FLAC files trump both vinyl and CD is that it has nowhere and you can have it on your, the only thing that can happen is that your hard drive can get stolen. Otherwise there's no, there's no hiss, there's no uh, pops, there's no <clears throat> scratches on the CD that make it jump and uh, destroy it so you can't use it if you don't uh, take care of the CDs. So there's a lot of cons in ripping CDs, ripping vinyl. Uh, pros in ripping CDs, ripping vinyl. I still think that vinyl being played sounds a little bit better than a ripped vinyl, depending on which needle is used, of course. But I compared like a Born Willem pressing I have with my uh, bronze 2M cartridge, and I compared it to a vinyl rip of a um, Orthofon black cartridge. And, uh, I think uh, playing the actual record on the record player still sounds better than the vinyl rip. So, so there, there is some decreasing of sound quality there. Um, but still, I think uh, CDs sound good in their way. Uh, very clear, just like the FLAC files and have some pros over noisy vinyl sometimes. Um, so, I like uh, most formats. Um, except uh, some mp3s. I mean, I got the Metallica remaster, Master of Puppets on mp3. And I just can't listen to it after hearing the CD <laughs> and the vinyl. I mean, even if it's the old mix and this is the remastered mix, you can hear some subtleties in the new mix that it sounds better, but it still sounds worse overall, even on my good system with my good amp. Uh, since it's just um, it's just so thin so uh, knowledge can be uh, it can be a blessing and it can be a curse a gift and a curse like Matthias Heyer says and you want it to be a gift uh, but then you have to realize that something is worse than than what you can better or the better um, that, that if you hear what something sounding better, you won't be able to go back as easily to something sounding worse. It's like I, I avoid Spotify now. <laughs> and I didn't used to before. I used to think it was good enough for portable, but... And I, in a way, I still think it is, but uh, on my system, I, I, would, I don't play Spotify if not necessary or Apple Music, because I don't think it sounds very good. It's definitely uh, making is definitely another type of listen with that with those type of stream services so there's just some pros and cons with some formats and uh, i've done this before but i think i've gotten a little bit wiser since then so it's been so fun because <coughs> i <coughs> i initially had such a bad vinyl play that i thought cd sounded better than vinyl and of course uh, a lot of people said beg to differ <laughs> and uh of course I do now too, since I much I realize how great a vinyl can sound with the great cartridge. So that realization has changed a lot for me. So it's been really cool realizing that at 37 years of age and getting into that. And I think, yeah, you can always tweak something. And uh, I think the best way to enjoy your system is not maybe to have the best uh, sound always though. I recommend getting good good speakers and good uh, Stylus instead of getting a cheaper I, I Definitely recommend I, I did this mistake. I can you can learn from my mistake here. I bought these Elac speakers Which are they have good bass But the highs are not good and it, it sounds like a curtain is on the compared to these caps So as soon as I compare them to these used caps that are also played in they didn't sound too good anymore <laughs> uh, compared to them. So there's a little example of the uh, the Adam, the apple that Eve gives Adam. It's it's kind of what happens. I really enjoyed listening to these speakers compared to my old uh, shittier ones than these. And they, I can't listen to these speakers anymore because of the caps. So. I can appreciate the bass, but I just think the clarity is so much better on the caps, the Q15s. And I got these for, man, it was 90 euros on eBay, so such a great tip to buy used. If they're not broken, 
of course you can fix them it's good for the environment so you have to check what the parts cost but often you end up with a worse deal if you have to change parts but with these it's like a shitty deal and i'm disappointed because realizing listening with my friend to this i i uh, understood that i don't I, i'm about to check what uh, it costs to replace these to some super uh, tweeters instead and uh, because i really like the base in this element so if i could change these i think it would be expensive but it would be better than uh, just standing here or selling them for half of the price and losing like 100 150 euros so they these were only 20 230 euros so it was were a really good price from germany but still i wouldn't re recommend these uh, I, I would recommend buying used speakers instead because these are so if you want to buy new ones <coughs> I definitely recommend, I haven't tried the B6s, but I definitely think that the 403s, BS 403s are a much better in investment. And I, I definitely, I'm definitely gonna be on the look for those used and have pinches and wait a few years instead and get these and get the BS 403s maybe for a good price or, so it's, just think about that, that even though it goes forward with, with uh, the technique and an old pair of caps is also good and a new pair of caps is uh, a little bit better a little bit more tweaked but there's not that much of a difference but then again if you have the cheapest elax and these who, who i don't know what they cost back in the day but must have cost more than the elax since they are so clear in sound <coughs> so the pro there is that they played in and they sound great and you know how they sound you don't have to you know, don't have to wear them in and you can play them loud at once so there's some audio advice for me um, with the knowledge i have uh, so hope you find some good speakers and and make some good choices of your own <laughs>